Now children, take out page number 19 of your English reader. Let's read the story, The Ostrich and the Hedgehog. Children, in the picture you can see an ostrich and a hedgehog. Ostrich is the largest bird. It can run very fast but it cannot fly. So, let's read the story. One beautiful morning in summer, a hedgehog went for a walk across a barley field. There were rows of tall barley plants in the field. At the edge of the field, he met an ostrich. Children, one beautiful morning, a hedgehog went for a walk across a barley field. Children, barley is a cereal plant and there he met an ostrich at the edge of the field. Edge means at the border of the field. Good morning, he said to the ostrich in a cheerful voice. But the ostrich looked down at him and said, I don't talk to stumpy leg creatures like you. Children, Hedgehog was cheerful and he wished good morning to the ostrich. But ostrich was very proud and he said that I don't talk to stumpy leg creatures. Stumpy means short and thick. My legs may be stumpy, but I can run faster than any other animal, said the hedgehog. Hedgehog did not like his behavior and said that my legs may be short and fat, but I can run very fast. No one can run faster than I. Don't you see how long my legs are? said the ostrich. Ostrich said, no one can run faster than I can. Why don't we have a race? said the hedgehog. Then we will see who is the faster runner, you or I. Hedgehog said, let's have a race to know who is the Faster runner. Agreed, said the ostrich. Shall we start? But the hedgehog said, Let me go home and take my breakfast. I cannot run on an um, empty stomach. Shall we have the race at midday? Hedgehog was very clever. So he said, let me go home and have my breakfast as I cannot run on an empty stomach. We will have the race at midday. Midday means middle of the day, noon time. Sure, said the ostrich. The ostrich agreed and said sure. The ostrich went home and went to sleep. The hedgehog went home and brought his mother and father, brothers, sisters, cousins, even aunts and uncles to the barley field. He made them take their position in such a way that there was a hedgehog at both the ends of each row of barley plants. Children, Hedgehog was very clever and he made a plan. He brought his parents and all relatives and made them stand in such a way that there was a hedgehog at both the ends of each row of barley plants. At midday, the hedgehog and the ostrich met at the barley field and the race started. The ostrich began at the first row. 
he took long strides and soon reached the end of the row he was surprised to see a hedgehog already there waiting for him so you have reached said the hedgehog to the ostrich the ostrich was so surprised that he did not reply he ran back along the next row again when he reached the end he found a hedgehog waiting for him children at midday means middle of the day the hedgehog and the ostrich both met at the barley field and the race started the ostrich took the long strides strides means long steps and reached the end of the row but he was surprised to see a hedgehog already there waiting for him the ostrich could not tell the difference between one hedgehog and another and believed that he had been beaten this happened several times several times means many times when he reached the end of the last row he found a hedgehog sitting there also the hedgehog was fresh and smiling children the ostrich could not understand hedgehog's plan and believed that he had been beaten beaten here means that he had lost the race the hedgehog was fresh and smiling do you know why because he did not run the ostrich could not understand how he had been beaten by a stumpy legged hedgehog he went away on his tired sore feet sore means painful and buried his head deep in the sand children the ostrich could not understand how he had lost the race so he felt ashamed and he buried means he placed his head deep in the sand so children the moral of the story is that we should not make fun of others and we should not underestimate others